In lab, you may have noticed that you've been using solutions that are labeled with a concentration. Typically in chemistry, the concentrations we deal with are given in molarity. And molarity is expressed with a capital M, like so. The other way that we discuss the concentration of different substances is in parts per million. Chemists in general don't use this. This is more a measure, maybe somebody who's doing trace amounts of substances, maybe in our drinking water or something like that would use more like an environmental application. But we're going to learn both. In fact, on the back of your reference tables, both of these concentration equations are given. So you can actually see here and the concentration section, the equation for parts per million, which you may have already used in lab, and also the equation for molarity. Molarity is calculated as moles of solute per liter of solution. So once again, we're going back to use this moles concept, which is why I left in this equation. So you can remember that moles is your given mass divided by the GFM. So let's look at this first question. The molarity of a Powerade drink that contains 15 grams of sugar per 240 milliliters. This is our grams of solute. This is the volume of our solution. Notice that the units are milliliters instead of liters. When you convert between milliliters and liters, you're going to move the decimal place three to the left. So this is actually 0 0.24 liters. And this is going to be our liters. When we look at our equation again for molarity, you'll see that one of our terms is liters, but the other is moles. So we don't have moles, though. We have grams. So we're going to have to convert to moles using the moles equation. The moles equation is given mass, so this 15 grams, divided by the GFM. And we've actually given you the GFM of the sugar. So first we're going to figure out moles. Our grams of solute was given as 15 our GFM was given to us this time. So when we do this calculation, we're getting a really small number, 0 0.045, and I'm going to stop at three digits with a 4. This is moles. And now we're going to figure out molarity. And molarity from table T is moles divided by liters. So we have 0 0.0454 moles divided by 0 0.24 liters. And the value we get is 0.189 and the units are capital M for molarity. Let's try another one. Again, we're looking for molarity. Here is our given mass, and here is our, our milliliters. Again, we have to convert to liters, so it's 0 0.25 liters. And in our equation, we don't need grams. We need moles. So we're going to start by converting grams to moles using our moles equation. The grams we were given were 16.9. This time they did not give us our GFM, so we have to calculate the GFM. So you recall all you're doing is adding up the masses of the elements, the atoms in this compound. Sodium is 22.99, chlorine, and again there's only one of each, so we're just adding these two numbers, 35.45. Nope, oh, I added that wrong, 35.45. And we get 58.44 for the GFM of NaCl. So that's the denominator. 
and our moles are 0.289. Now for molarity, which is moles per liter, again you can just get that from the reference tables. We're plugging in the 0.289 moles and we already converted from milliliters to liters. So 0.289 divided by 0.25 and we get 1.1 and I'm going to round to three digits, six. And this is going to be in the units of molarity which is a capital M. Recall that a lowercase m is meters. If you want to abbreviate moles you can do M-O-L. It's not a lowercase m. Alright, next question, molarity again of 24.9 grams of potassium chloride and again they gave it to us in milliliters which is not uncommon so make sure you get used to converting to liters and again they gave us grams and we need moles so um, this time they didn't give us the formula we have to remember how to go from a name to a formula potassium is K oxidation numbers plus one Chlorine is Cl, oxidation numbers minus one. They cancel out, so the formula is just KCl. We look up the masses. We have 39.10 for K and Cl, we looked up just a second ago, is 35.45. Add the two together, and our GFM is 74.55. So now, to do moles, G over GFM. Our given mass is 24.9 grams. The GFM we just calculated was 74.55. 24.9 divided by 74.55 and we get 0 0.334 moles. Not our answer though, we're looking for molarity. Molarity is moles per liter. Plug our numbers in. We just had our moles in the last step. Liters we'd already calculated is 0 .500 liters. And we divide 0.334 by 0.5 and we get 0 0.668. Again, molar or molarity. All right, we've done three examples of molarity. Let's try one of parts per million. If we go back to the first question and figure it out for our power aid solution, parts per million is mass of solute over mass of solution. So we're going to need some masses. In the first question, we were given milliliters, though. So you should know that water, one milliliter is one gram. In fact, that's how we defined a gram when we set up the metric system. So our equation, PPM, parts per million, is grams of solute over grams of solution times one million. Again, this would be a much better equation to use for a small value, but we're going to use this anyway. So in the first question, we said we had 15 grams of our solute and 240 milliliters. We just said in that last question, number four, that a milliliter is a gram. So we have, remind myself, 15 grams of our solute. 240 grams of our solution times 1 million. 15 divided by 240 times 1 million. 62,500. And the units are just parts per million. And those are the methods for calculating concentration.